Are you serious right now? You can't be. Wow. <laughs>
but it's, it's understandable you know you have your preference on what you want to race what you like but I can't judge a title based off it not even being out Whoa. and I'm not I can't even compare it to the original beta when it was was released I heard that it was really bad so I've never played that I can't say too much about that or anything at all really all I know that is what I'm playing now has potential and if there is an R factor, you know, information in this as far as the physics, I can understand that because I kind of feel it. Yeah, this guy got kind of, he just got personal. I was like, what is happening right now? I really don't understand that. You know, I race uh, racers. We all have our favorite. And that's all I can say. We have our favorite and I just enjoy racing no matter what sim it is. But if it's bad, I will leave it alone. But this isn't bad right now. This is my own personal opinion. I'm not sponsored by Rensport. This isn't bad. It has potential. Simple as that. <sighs> so, as so we can see, it says no one's playing it. I'm, I'm looking at 10 racers in here right now. This is a 25 minute race on Monza GT3 fixed. We're in the AMG. The shading of this game is unbelievable. I don't. It looks really good, man. I gotta figure out why my wheel is rattling. It's louder than it should be. That is loud. Got to figure it out. Something's rattling. So we apologize for the rattle. We might get some Ren Sport in, not Ren Sport, but some eye racing in today in honor of the uh, <laughs> the eye racer that I was having the, the lovely conversation with. Right now we're in P3. We got to get faster. I don't think I'm gonna beat out that Porsche though. Seems like the Porsche is much better in the turns on Monza. I just don't want to race the Porsche.
Lost that time. Why did I, why'd I break it down a second there? Wow, that's loud. Something is not tight down there. Late break. This thing is fun to drive. <laughs> so I don't get it. I don't know if he's giving the 1.8.5 beta a chance. I don't know if he played it. Yeah, I got to apologize for that sound. I don't know what that is. We're going to take a look at it when we stop. Come on, we got to hit a 149. Ah. Bad. Fifty-one. This thing is pretty slow. Damn it! Lost a lot of time there. Oh, pay attention. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> that was a better lap time and I blew it looking up in the corner. I can't figure out how to get the uh, the HUD information into into the screen. I'm running an ultra wide right now, so. Oh my goodness. We're still in P3. push it here. P1 and P2 are the Porsche. Porsche 992. Put it down first here. Just to be safe. I thought they would give me that final lap. <sighs> Dang it. So they just cut you off as soon as the time stops. They need to change that as well. If you're out on track and the time you're past the start line, you should still get at least that lap. So we're P3, we got 25 minutes on the clock. Starting in 10 seconds. Also, you can't feel a lot of wheel slip when you hit the corners. He was going to try to slide in over there. Uh, he's going to get away. Don't get away. Up 
into P2. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to catch that Porsche. He's quick. And that thing is nimble. Breaking too early there. I don't like how the car sounds when you come back off that view. Listen to that, it bogs down. Whoa. Way too wide there. You see how close he is? I don't, well, I don't wanna look at that anymore because it seems like the car actually does bog down. Had to protect there. And yeah, this guy ahead is is floating. Now, if the guy behind me is quicker, I'm just gonna let him by. That's the track cut. Why oh, they didn't give me a track cut there? Could have sworn. He is floating up there. His average time is a 151. I'm running at 152. We're gonna let him by. So I think I'm holding him up. This could be a benefit though, if we can slipstream off him. Ooh, back in went out. Yeah, I should have grabbed that Porsche. His corner's like, it's... <sighs> should have grabbed the Porsche. Whoa. I don't like how the penalty system is over the DDU. <sighs> and I don't know if somewhere, you know, in the comments, the guy said something like, there's no way these physics are better than iRacing. I never said these physics were better than iRacing. Never. 
All I'm saying is that they feel pretty good. They have potential. And there's a couple things that actually felt better than iRacing in this. Just a couple things that had to do with the physics on, um, what track was that? I think it was Daytona. that <laughs> and I just got all QR twos for for every every wheel that I have that rattle shouldn't be there where's the rest of the pack at Look, look at where P1 is gone. He's not anywhere in view. His last, his best lap was a 147. We're running 150s right now. I feel like I can't get anything else out of this car. That's trying to push more out of the car. <laughs> I need him to slip up a little bit. So I can get back up into that slipstream. running one-tenth better than me. Ah, too bad. Come on. Takes a little getting used to.
yeah, there's no chance of me catching those Porsches. There's three 992s in the race. Oh, my information is all over the place. <laughs> no, there has to be a way to uh, change the information location. It has to be. Goodness, I can't catch this guy. Is that P1? I actually can see P1. Or is that somebody we're about to lap? Eleven minutes to go. I think that might be P1. Or maybe not. No, there's no way. Unless something happened to his car. I don't know. Oh, there's no damage. There's no damage yet. Yeah. It's not P1. Are you serious right now? You can't be. Wow. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That took me all the way out of my focus. <laughs> Guy, what was that? <laughs> okay, back to focus. <laughs> oh man. Still running P3. A little further back from P2 now.
Eight minutes to go. See if we can close the gap at least. Yellow flag. What happened? P2, he lost connection. <laughs> Don't want P2 like that. Not like that. I, I, <laughs> of course they aren't this game isn't perfect it's not perfect but I refuse to be a sheep I refuse to be a sheep because a lot of people are saying it's bad off the initial beta the initial beta release I'm just an, I'm, I'm a rational person, very rational. I can see something positive in multiple sims. If it's raceable, it's raceable. This is raceable right now in beta form, it's raceable. It's definitely not up to iRacing standards. It's not, but in its defense, like iRacing, there's a subscription and they're they're getting funds on a daily, minute by minute, they're getting funds to optimize their their physics and like they have the best rain implementation of any sim. It took a while for that to happen, but they're getting funding to get that done a lot. And that rain was released 10 years after iRacing released. That's a lot of funding. And I, I just have to give any sim a chance. Like I gave, I gave Forza a chance. Now Forza is what it is. I can judge it now saying, okay, it's pretty much a simcade for people that want to pick up a controller. Not really for the serious, not at all for the serious racer, the serious sim racer. It's for people that just want to pick up a controller to have an Xbox. <laughs> and go around these tracks with some pretty looking cars really you know good looking cars that's it I have to admit when I first started playing it I thought that they would update it and I thought it was going to get closer to the sim side of things as opposed to the arcade side but I think it's staying more arcade than anything. It's that you know, it's Microsoft and turn ten. They care about sales. Everybody cares about sales, but they have consoles, so they have to 
cater to their people that have counsel and not the hardcore sim racer with a a Moses steering wheel a Fanatec steering wheel right there. His best is a 147, how? But his last is, he's running 150s, he's running two tenths faster than me. Yeah, he's averaging 150.2, 150.3? And I'm averaging 150.4.5, somewhere around there. Whew. Didn't straighten it out enough there. One minute to go, one and a half. Ooh, too wide. No way. That's not a penalty. I was still on the green. And uh, my left tires were still on the on the pavement. Final lap here. Should be. Maybe not. Yeah, this thing definitely has p potential, man. I, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I can't say it doesn't right now. I can't. I think that was my fastest lap there. Of course, the car is getting lighter. This should be the final lap because I don't have any more fuel.
Too tight. What is going on? Yeah, I've got to fix that. It's something rattling. Just got to figure out what it is. Hey, finish. Okay, so they set me up with the right amount of fuel because I'm at 0 0.2 gallons, zero laps remaining. Good race, guy. Well, for him, anyway. I could not catch that Porsche. Look, these look, come on now. Look at these cars. Look at the track. This guy said, you know, I'm not going to say his name. He said it doesn't look good. What? <laughs> it doesn't look good. I mean, they got the look going. That's. This is undisputable. That's without saying anything. That is, this is the best looking sim I've seen. And I've played a lot of them. iRacing, AC, ACC, R Factor, R Factor 2. Uh, Automobilista. Automobilista looks really good. Oh, it does. But. Unreal engine. I'm just saying. Gray beard out.